Hello everyone! Today we are going to find out what object-oriented programming actually is and what is the purpose of it. OOP based on a concept of objects which has their inner data and futures. It means that you can express any real object as a simplified object in programming with some parameters and futures. For example, let's imagine that you have a tree. A tree has leaves, branches, it can produce oxygen using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. You know, all this ordinary stuff. There is a lot that you can say about trees, but if you will try to introduce it all in your program, you will cause a lot of wasted time without great result. Moreover, you just physically can't predict all possible cases for all trees. So, here comes OOP. It has four basic concepts – encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. In this lesson we will go through encapsulation and abstraction, because abstraction relates to encapsulation. Maybe in the future, when all planets will be lined up, I will create second or even third video. Encapsulation means that you store your information in an object which is made based on a class. A class is something like a scheme for building similar objects with the same functionality but with different parameters. There are some data and implementation of it that is hidden and cannot be accessed outside an object. Actually, there are private fields and methods and you can access them only inside your object. Another type of components is public methods. They give access to the functionality of an object. They determine what object can do. Now let's see an example. You have a spaceship class which has fields and methods, id, info and boolean variable which describes if the spaceship can move with the speed of light. They are private fields. Public methods for getting all those parameters and one method for setting info parameter. Using this class we can create many objects. Every object will store its specific data and will have common functionality. But we can access only public futures like getShipData method. You cannot access ID of the spaceship directly if it's private, but you can use specialized methods for this task. They are called getters. There are also setters and they are used for validating and setting a new value of the variable. The next question is about abstraction. It means that your objects must be simpler than real ones and give access only to the functionality, not data. In other words, you must be able to use your object without knowing what's going on inside it and how data is performed. For example, a real spaceship may have a lot of parameters and data. When you write a spaceship class, you store only specific data that you need in your project and the necessary functionality for it that will be used by other classes. All maintaining methods must be hidden. When you press the play button on YouTube, do you know why it works? Of course no. As a user, the only thing you should know is what you can achieve if you do that.